Hello folks, it is Sunday, February 19th. The markets are currently closed. Let's spin through the charts right quick. Um, let's see, this is, <laughs> this. I, I may have been imbibing a little bit this, this afternoon. It's Sunday after all. I love this saying, beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. And so uh, if I slur my words a little bit, in this video, you know what's going on. And so anyway, let's jump right into the charts. This is gold in the monthly time frame. In my opinion, let me scooch this chart down a little bit. We are currently targeting about 2510. So, you know, I'm showing the 2600 round number. Um, probably I'd, I'd pull that down to about 25, 25, 10, somewhere in there. I think that's our current target. Um, this is a, actually a, a pretty chart. You know, if we look at MACD, so MACD is in bull mode, which means that uh, both of the indicator lines are above the zero level of the indicator. So MACD clearly in bull mode. Now, we have to acknowledge that MACD is currently on a sell signal. So that was our sell, sell signal way back here. Um, and we haven't gotten a new buy signal yet. Now, that could be, you know, it could happen pretty quickly in the next week or so. But it hasn't happened yet. Um, I use stochastics as my indicator of energy level. And so based on stochastics, energy level is, is currently fairly high. So um, this is a pretty nice looking uh, picture for gold in the monthly time frame. Let's, let's drop down. This is in the weekly. A couple of things to note here. Um, so let's start with, so uh, Fibonacci retracement. So when a price has made a strong uh, movement in one direction or another, uh, quite often we get a correction. You know, it's uh, a pause or a you know it's a breath of fresh air, um, a, co a correction in the opposite direction. And so what we're seeing here, what I believe we're seeing here in the weekly time frame is that gold had this very strong uh, movement to the upside. And now we have had a pullback, pretty, pretty sharp pullback. And if we look at this, uh, this is the Fibonacci retracement indicator uh, drawn on this chart. We can see that uh, price pulled back to this 38.2 or 38.2 percent uh, retracement level, Fibonacci retracement level, and appears to be bouncing at that level. And so um, that that's a positive indication in this time frame. It actually it's it, it's it's pretty. <laughs> this is a pretty picture. Uh, Oops, from a um, uh, technical analysis perspective, you know, we've got uh, price has formed a strong, you know, that's a triple bottom. So there's a triple bottom, strong movement, uh, impulsive movement closed very near the high of that price bar, very impulsive movement out of that triple bottom. Uh, strong movement uh, from that level up into a peak. And so, you know, as, as price reached uh, up into this, uh, the, the, the levels of this prior high, and then, you know, coincidentally, the uh, lower median line extension of this uh, shift pitchfork, uh, price ran out of energy and then pulled back. And so that's where we are now is that uh, gold has pulled back to the uh, support levels of both uh, a 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level and then the uh, second lower median line extension of this uh, shift pitchfork. So 
um, two potential levels of support uh, for price at this point. And so I would also mention that we had a bullish cross. This is the 10-week moving average moving above the 40-week moving average, which obviously that's a bullish crossover. Uh, the analog of this uh, crossover in the daily chart would be a golden crossover where the 50-day moving average moves above the 200-day uh, moving average. And so let's drop on down to the daily time frame. We can see, so there's our bullish crossover. That's the 50-day moving average moving above the 200-day uh, moving average uh, golden cross. Um, let's, let's talk about or focus on the current action where we've gotten this uh, sharp pullback. Uh, price has pulled back to test uh, support in this horizontal support resistance zone. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, we can see how price tested this level from below. You know, there's resistance, 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 you know, tested it looks like four, at least four times for resistance before finally it broke through. Then briefly on one day, you know, that green bullish candle there tested that level for support and then pushed on higher to the upside uh, before pulling back. And so now in this current, this sharp pullback, we're, we're testing that breakout level for support. And on Friday, it looks like we got a, a, a bullish, a bullish doji. You know, in, in uh, candlestick terms, that's, that's actually a very bullish uh, doji. And, and we can see that it's happening right at a support level. So, you know, this, this actually, again, you know, from a, a technical analysis, analysis perspective, this is a, a pretty picture. You know, that, that, that's a nice looking picture. So we'll see what happens on the open in Monday. So uh, stochastics, uh, very low, hinting that they might want to turn lower. And uh, MACD, same thing, hinting that it might want to turn lower, but it haven't, hasn't done so yet. So we, we need to be uh, uh, cautious about deploying new money into these markets. Um, here's silver in the monthly time frame. Um, nothing really exciting to note here. You know, strong push to the upside. Uh, appear to be getting a pullback uh, at this point. We don't have a new buy signal yet. Um, uh, MACD is actually still in bear mode, but uh, could quickly jump into bull mode. Energy is elevated, which is which is bullish. So. Um, you know, that's, that's silver in the monthly time frame. Uh, not exciting, but uh, not, not horrible either. Here's silver in the weekly. Uh, nice. This is a pretty pullback. Um, and I suspect if we put a, a chart on it, let me cheat here, that is 50%. Uh, yeah. So if we put a, a Fibonacci retracement on this move right here, we would find that that was a 50% pullback, and now we're getting a bounce. And, and coincidentally, that bounce is occurring from the 40-week. Uh, uh, the blue line is the 40-week moving average, which is uh, comparable to the 200-day moving average in the daily chart. So... Um, not a not an uncommon uh, support level there, and it appears that price is bouncing uh, from that level at this point. Notice that we have a new sell signal in MACD. That's that's bearish, uh, albeit we have to acknowledge that MACD remains in bull mode. 
which suggests that the primary trend is to the upside. And looking at this price action, it wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be surprising to see another leg to the upside. You know, currently, if we look at what we've got from a, um, you know, the per perspective, let me, let me put a little bit of color in there so we can see that thing. Let's do that. We'll make it a solid line so we can see it. Okay. Uh, if we look at that and then, um, it wouldn't, wouldn't be, wouldn't be surprising to see after this pullback, some kind of, uh, push higher, uh, from the support level up into the next, uh, the next resistance zone, wherever that occurred. And of course, we we would probably expect to see some some kind of resistance uh, right in here. Um, so anyway, I'm I'm uh, off on a tangent there. So let's let's continue. This is silver in the daily time frame again, pulling back into a support level. Uh, support from horizontal uh, support and resistance level support from uh, this is obviously it's an Andrews pitchfork it is a shift pitchfork in a very short time frame so uh, if you are a short term trader you might be looking at a shift Andrews pitchfork that looked something like that I'm going to I'm going to delete it from this chart. We don't need to. It's kind of cluttering up the picture. That's a, a much, much prettier picture there. And so we can see that uh, price in this time frame has pulled back to the 200-day uh, moving average, found support there, and bounced. And so actually Friday's uh, close was a, it's a very bullish action uh, Friday uh, in silver and then uh, supported by, by the volume. <laughs> Draw, I was uh, pulling blank there on volume. Um, uh, nice volume on Friday w uh, to support this bullish price action. And then MACD, you know, with this histogram, uh, MACD has been hinting at bottoming action uh, for the last, uh, you know, two, two weeks of trading, uh, trading days. The last 10 uh, trading days, MACD has been hinting at uh, bottoming. And then energy, as indicated by the stochastics, slow, slow stochastics, uh, could be uh, trying to head higher. So anyway, not a bad picture there in daily silver. Let's drop down to the mining stocks. This is uh, GDXJ, monthly time frame. Um, Unfortunately, it appears that price, you know, at least currently, price has bumped into the upper end of this uh, pink uh, channel, this price channel, uh, downward sloping price channel, uh, found resistance at that level and has pulled back. Now, that doesn't mean that... Uh, this uptrend is over and actually something I was just noticing here let me draw a couple of lines just to uh, emphasize uh, what what my eye is seeing um, so price has run up into uh, this resistance level potential resistance level and then pulled back um, and volume has dropped. And so, well, 
yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my tongue on that volume indicator uh, and what it might suggest. Uh, back the trying to move up into bull mode, currently still in bear mode, which suggests that the primary trend in uh, mining stocks in this time frame, the monthly time frame, is still to the downside. So let's, uh, let's acknowledge that, <sighs> which doesn't feel really good, but um, in the monthly time frame, uh, gold stocks may, may, not, may not be done may not be done with their downward movement. So there it is. I said it. Uh, more of the same in the, the weekly time frame. We can see energy is headed downwards and uh, very low. Uh, MACD rolling over. Um, peaked very near the uh, same level that the uh, of the prior MACD peak rolling over still in bull mode so you know MACD could could uh, head higher from here but uh, not looking really bullish in MACD uh, price has pulled back sharply to the uh, 40 week moving average that's the blue line uh, could could find support at that level and bounce, um, but also has overhead resistance. You know, this gray, that's a support, uh, support resistance level price would have to push through. So let's continue. This is mining stocks in the daily. We can see that uh, price has pulled back to the 200 day moving average uh, and the lower median line extension of this modified shift pitchfork. So we've got two potential levels of support. Uh, and it looks like on Friday, price bounced at those levels and tried to move higher or did move higher before the close. Uh, and also on a bullish perspective, it looks like, um, well, price... Price didn't quite close above the 200-day moving average, but uh, it's it's very close. Um, MACD in bear mode on a sell signal. Energy is very low, but perhaps hinting at at um, wanting to go higher. So. There, there's uh, this is the U.S. dollar in the monthly time frame, so sharp pullback, push, uh, push back up into resistance, and so we can see this uh, gray horizontal horizontal uh, indicator or or uh, drawing. We we found resistance at that level, and again resistance little bit of resistance before a breakthrough and then a pullback and a, a drop below that level and now it has been tested from below and currently as of Friday's close um, has not been able to push above that level. Now we'll, we'll see what what happens uh, uh, but currently it appears that that's a strong resistance level. Um, we can see in MACD that uh, price uh, was also pushing up to into not only a resistance level from price perspective, but a resistance level or an overbought level uh, from the perspective of MACD. Um, so let's let's keep rolling. Uh, this is the dollar in the weekly time frame. Uh, you know, looks like we got a counter trend rally. So we had a, a long, um, long pull or decline, pullback, correction, however you want to look at, you know, this downward action from this uh, bullish action. Um, I would call that a correction or a pullback. Now in, in the recent, these, 
these three green bars, we've got bullish action, uh, but it's just a push up into resistance and then a pullback. So, so, so far, all we've shown is price pushing up into resistance and unable to overcome that resistance. You know, that, that, that could easily change uh, in today's trading. Now, MACD looks fairly bullish. Uh, currently in bear mode, which suggests that the primary trend is to the downside, um, but MACD histogram is hinting at uh, a trend change to the upside. So uh, potential for a change to upward movement um, in the U.S. dollar and then uh, uh, stochastics, the energy level, uh, suggesting that a move higher is also possible. Uh, daily time frame, you know, we had dollar uh, bumping lower for, you know, is that two months, two plus months, and then finally started to push higher uh, about two weeks ago and is continuing that push higher. Um, this is a horizontal uh, support resistance level. Uh, price found resistance there on Friday and then uh, pulled back a little bit. That's where we'll start on Monday. You know, we'll see what uh, what price wants to do from there. Let's see, let me save that. Um, MACD moving up into bull mode. You know, that's obviously a bullish development. That's actually very pretty energy is very elevated. And so uh, we could easily see prices move higher uh, in the dollar, which would be uh, bearish for the metals. These, uh, this chart, um, this is yield on the one month uh, treasury bond. Well, it's not a bond, it's a bill. One, one month, one year, I'm sorry, it's a one year, that's a bill. So yeah, one month, a one year treasury is a bill and this chart is showing us the monthly time frame, the yield on that instrument. And we can see we had a couple months here where we, you know, basically, basically it was a sideways consolidation, uh, but now clearly we're getting a break higher in interest rates. In my opinion, the market, uh, the natural trend in interest rates is higher in all time frames. Doesn't matter what, what time frame you want to talk about, the natural trend is uh, towards higher rates. Um, and that's it's just where we're at in the economic cycle which, of course, uh, is strongly um, uh, correlated to the level of fiat currency debasement that has occurred. <laughs> and, of course, we've had a bunch of it. Um, but anyway, uh, it appears that we're having a new uh, breakout in the collapse of the global debt markets. If we want to look at this uh, this chart as our proxy for the global debt collapse, and of course that's uh, one of the reasons I look at this chart, um, we've got a new break higher, which uh, suggests that uh, things have changed. We were, we were in a little bit of a sideways. You know, we had, uh, what is that, one, two, three, basically three months of sideways action, but now the uh, global collapse of the debt markets has resumed. Um, and of course, we'll be watching that as it goes forward. Uh, this is the 10-year uh, treasury note, daily time frame, obviously pushing to the upside, MACD in bull mode, energy very elevated. 
uh, price or in, in the case of the debt markets, obviously it's not price, it's yield, uh, pushing up into the resistance from the prior high and this uh, median line. This is the second lower median line extension of this uh, shift pitchfork. And so uh, a couple of levels of resistance um, and we'll see where price goes from there. Uh, bull mode on MACD, energy very elevated. So uh, in all likelihood going to push through that resistance level and head higher. 30-year uh, treasury bond, weekly time frame, uh, consolidation candlestick, uh, pretty much an equal upper and lower wick um, or whisker, however you want to uh, describe the, um, you know, these the, the thin line above and below the candle uh, or body of that candle. So um, notice in this chart, this does not look like a chart that has reached its peak and rolled over. Uh, what I see when I look at this chart is a very constructive move to the upside, leg one, leg two, leg three, leg four, uh, and yet to occur is leg five. And so if you're a Elliott Wave practitioner, what you may see here is that, uh, yeah, we're waiting for wave five to occur in these markets. And that is consistent with my uh, bias. And let me acknowledge that I have a bias for uh, higher interest rates. And so this chart is, is uh, uh, consistent with my bias towards higher interest rates. I, I think the markets want to go higher. Um, and, and notice this. I think it's been uh, two, two, perhaps three weeks since I did my last update. Um, and I think in that update, the 30-year fixed rate was at 6.6 six or 6.7. Six and here it is at 7.3. So again, uh, this is a, another indication that uh, interest rates want to head higher at this point. Um, you know, folks, I'm pushing 27 minutes. Let me let me spend. I'm going I'm going to spend through the the rest of these charts uh, quickly. So Bitcoin daily time frame. This is actually constructive action, both in the price action push above the 200 day moving a uh, average, uh, uh, stair stepping higher. Um, anyway, nice action. Uh, bullish in the volume there. MACD in bull mode, energy elevated. So Bitcoin looking very nice in the daily time frame. Uh, let's talk about the equity markets. S&P 500, this is the daily uh, golden cross, 50-day moving average, moving above the 200-day moving average. That's bullish. I, I would call all of this a, uh, a sideways consolidation. Uh, you know, that's bullish. Uh, basically, price is just uh, gathering energy um, in preparation for making its next move higher. So anyway, that, that's all bullish. Um, let me save those changes. Let's see. And, and let's, let's, let's not spend a lot of time. Here's the Dow and the daily. Still pushing up, so the, the Dow has been unable so far to break above that overhead resistance. Now we do have um, MACD is in bull mode, but it has been in bull mode for several, well, two, yeah, that's probably three weeks, at least three weeks. MACD has been in bull mode and the Dow has been unable to push higher. That is not bullish. Um, energy is low based on stochastics here in the daily time frame. So that's not really a, a bullish picture. 
of the equities markets. Weekly, that's kind of a sideways consolidation. But I'll, I'll just draw it. You know, if you're, you know, if you're trying to learn technical anal analysis, uh, it helps, or at least for me. Uh, I'm a visual thinker, and I apologize. These lines are probably not exactly straight. That's pretty good. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway. Um, kind of a sideways consolidation there and bumping up into resistance at that uh, prior high. Uh, Dow pushing up into resistance, MACD in bull mode. Of course, that's bullish. Energy is elevated. That's bullish. NASDAQ uh, support at the 20. Uh, MACD in bull mode. Energy elevated, you know, uh, NASDAQ tech, tech stocks looking pretty good, uh, pushing up into resistance. So this is a pretty good chart here in the weekly time frame. We can see with this uh, shift pitchfork, prices pushing up into resistance at this upper median line extension. And uh, so for three weeks now, we found uh, our price has found resistance at that level and, and pulled back. Um, uh, the bullish case here is that uh, price will ultimately break through that level and push higher. Uh, bears would bet on price pulling lower. Um, this actually, this is a, a bullish, bullish chart. I would be betting on uh, price going higher from here. Um, NASDAQ daily, or no, I'm sorry, this is monthly. Bounce off the parabolic support level, uh, pushing up into resistance overhead. We'll see what happens. Uh, oil. Um, here, I, I prefer uh, Brent crude over some of the other indicators. It looks like we have, I didn't want to do that. Um, looks like we have resistance overhead from for, for, for the price action. MACD is in bull mode. Energy is low. The uh, Biden administration is continuing to release oil from the SPR. So I think the um, latest announcement is that we're going to release another 26 million barrels uh, from from the SPR, it's currently at historic lows that go back, I think, 40 years. And so I was a little bit surprised to see that uh, we're going to release <laughs> release some more oil from the SPR. So anyway, um, interesting times. Uh, there's a lot going on. Um, the military action in Ukraine uh, is uh, taking a new twist. Um, I hope you're keeping up with that. I think I'm going to sign out now. I will talk to you soon. Have a good day, folks.